And hello TR Inspire users. Let me introduce you to the Transforms Made Easy app. Uh, important to know is that this app's on this app only runs on the CAS TI Inspire, so you would have to have a CAS and not a CX without CAS. So let me show you what the app offers for you. Um, it can transform uh, Laplace, it can do the Laplace transforms and inverse Laplace. It can do the Fourier transforms and inverse Fourier and the Fourier series as well. And lastly, you can do the Z transform, inverse Z transform, and has some extras for you as well uh, that are going to be useful in your studies. So let me <clears throat> give you examples of each. Laplace transforms. First of all, you, of course, are given a table here where you can look up the, Lapl the most common Laplace transforms. That's just a, a given. Uh, additionally, you can, of course, do the Laplace transform. Let's say we're going to transform sine of t. We just plug it into the definition integral of the Laplace transform. And here's our final answer, 1 over s squared plus 1. Now, if you change your function, of course, your Laplace transform will be different. So as you change your function, your Laplace transform will look according the inverse Laplace transform. Just enter again your inverse Laplace and on the bottom you will see using the inverse Laplace transform how to arrive at the inverse Laplace transform. Very straightforward, very easy to use as usual. Menu, uh, let's do some Fourier transforms. Again, you have of course a table here given a Fourier transform of a piecewise defined function. Let's say you enter the two pieces, E as F1 and F2. And again, using the definition of the Fourier transform right now, we use the integral. We evaluate the improper indefinite integral to arrive at the final answer down here. Again, you change your input, you change your output. Let's do something different here. Fourier transform, uh, standard from uh, over the interval negative to positive infinity. You enter your standard, you enter your function to be transformed, e to the negative at, and down here is your Fourier transform. Um, Fourier series, of course, we have as well, because that's useful to your studies. Let's uh, find a usual Fourier series of, say, 1 plus x. Uh, notice first how the first coefficient a0 is, com is found using this uh, integral, definite integral. We're going to get 1 as a coefficient and the other coefficients are found in a similar fashion. Moving forward, scrolling down, you see how all the coefficients are found. And if we scroll down all the way in the bottom, we see the Fourier series of our given function 1 plus x. Okay, Z transforms. Again, there's a table of Z transforms. If you are, well, if you, you can always use the auto solver. Just enter your equation like this one here, 3 times e to the 5n, and out comes the Z transform down there. If you change your input, you will have, a, of course, a different Z transform every single time. For inverse Z transforms, um, we now you need uh, different methods. We have the partial fraction, polynomial division, even the contour integral uh, way of uh, finding inverse Z transforms. So let's do an example. Say we want to do inverse Z transform of this function here, a fractional, then you will get the simplified answer right here, five times the unit function U of N. If you like to use a specific method, you can of course choose that, partial fraction decomposition, enter your given fraction, the decomposition is done for you um, right here and then of course we're going to find the inverse of each fraction uh, which is shown here and which is shown right here. Okay? 
Um, lastly, I should mention that there is extras in this app for you. For example, you can find the poles, you can do a pole zero plot, you can find residues, uh, find a transfer function, etc., etc. Anyways, altogether, this is a very useful app. Remember, you must use a CAS, TI Inspire, and always remember that our apps don't run on the student software, but only on the handheld TI Inspire calculators. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.